Good morning, my name is Meg McDuffie and this is The Morning Marshall. Attention juniors, you'll be taking the ACT test today. If you don't know what testing room you're in, go check out the list posted in the comments right now. And good luck! And now to some sports. Congratulations to the ladies marshals. They're going to Lexington to participate in the Sweet 16 State Tournament. The Lady Marshals played Graves County Friday night in the regional finals. They went into overtime with the score being 44 to 44. Case and Connor finished with 26 points and five in overtime. Hallie Lange finished with 17 points and zero in overtime. They having a foul in the fourth quarter, and Lane P finished with seven points and in overtime she had a free throw and a clutch three to steal. Marshalls won 52 to 50. The next up for the girls is State. Here's what Le Lane P had to say about the game. I think we worked really well together. I'm super proud of all the girls, and this was this was a fun game to play. For you, just what does this mean to you to come out with the uh, regional championship? Oh, it's awesome. It's such a great feeling. Obviously, last year we come in second, and you don't forget how that feels. So it was just awesome tonight to come out and get the job done. How do you guys think the student sec the student section helped you all throughout the game? I was actually really proud of our student section, and I feel like they help a lot, like with cheering and everything, especially for a girls' game. For them to actually be there, it helps a lot. It was one of those games where, when it's tight, you have a big lead, and, and the other team comes back. It's hard to keep your composure and go ahead and, and finish it out. But you know, our girls are like that. They're they're smart. They're coachable. They're uh, super nice girls and a great group to work with. I'm just so proud for them to be able to get this regional championship. The boys played McCracken on Sunday in the finals of the regional tournament. Starting the last minute of the game, the Mustangs were ahead 39 to 37. Zion Hartman made a fadeaway jump shot to tie the game. McCracken County's Jackson Civils made two free throws, bringing the Mustangs a 41 to 39 lead, with 28.3 seconds left. Coming down the court, Tyler Powell made a huge three for the Marshals, giving us a one point lead. With 10 seconds left, McCracken County's Noah Dumas made two free throws to give McCracken a lead. Here's the last play of the game, which caused lots of controversy throughout the fans. This play could have sent Tyler Stokes to the line for two, or sealed the game for the Mustangs. The boys fell 41-42 to to the Mustangs. Congratulations to both girls and boys on their outstanding seasons. The girls will play at Rupp Arena, 12.30 our time Thursday. If you want to buy a ticket, get it today. Come join us with your family and friends on March 12th for the Parent Calf Experience. They'll be having exciting giveaways, free childcare, and provided with a meal. And who doesn't like a free meal? With that, you have a chance to help the kiddos. Come volunteer to help with the free childcare we provide to show a little appreciation to our parents. Let's congratulate Abigail Stanger on having a full ride scholarship to Louisville, a correction from the full tuition mentioned last time. So good job, Abigail. Last Thursday, March 5th, Murray State held the 2020 Engineer Day, or E-Day. Students from 12 different high schools went to Murray State campus to compete in engineering-based challenges. There were 25 events spread across the campus. We have an interview of Dr. Danny Claiborne, a faculty member at Murray State. One of the things we like to do at, at our E-Day is have a wide range of skills that we try to accomplish. We have students that come here that are really very, very good math and engineering students, and we try to challenge them with some events that they can go to and, and really function at a very high level. In. And everyone knows what Tuesday brings. It brings TikToks. So now to Caden for more information. With Kate being gone for nationals, my name is Caden Renahan, and this is TikTok Tuesday. Here are some TikToks we had today. Did I really just forget that melody? Hold your balance. I just say whatever, cause there is no way you're round. 
Remember, send in your TikTok to be featured in the next TikTok Tuesday. Back to Megan. Thanks, Kaden. For today's old-fashioned lunch, we'll be having Salisbury steak and chicken smackers. For today's spectacular spotlight, we will showcase not one, but two people. A married medical couple, Christine and Ryan Beck. They both graduated from MCHS in 2002 and the University of Kentucky in 2006. Ryan completed a sports fellowship at Harvard and now works as an orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic Institute in Paducah and Christine now participates as a nurse anesthetist in Paducah. In addition, she and her sister began the Moses Baskets, a service for foster children and their families. And remember, if you have anyone you would like to showcase in the spotlight, send your information to us. And today in fourth block, we're sending off the Special Olympics and our girls basketball teams. We'll be announcing and having a clap out at two o'clock. So congratulations to both teams, and we're very proud of you. And this has been The Morning Marshall.